You know, as veterans, we often think of our service to the United States as a privilege, as an honor. I used to tell folks uh, when I came into the military, I came in because first, as a, as a young man, to me, it was a challenge. I wanted to get through basic SEAL training, and I was excited about the challenge of showing that I could do it. After I got through SEAL training, the challenge became an adventure. For the next several years, you're jumping out of airplanes, you're locking out of submarines, you're doing the sort of things that young men and today young women strive to do. They want to be part of that adventure. And then at some point in time, it became a profession. It was the profession of arms. After 9-11, it became a calling. And those of you that have served during wartime, you understand what that calling is all about. You understand how much of a privilege it is and an honor it is to serve this great nation. When you get overseas and you compare the United States of America to all the other countries that we serve in or that we have served with, I think you have to recognize that there is an American exceptionalism and that serving this great nation is part of the honor of wearing the uniform. And so today, again, as you have an opportunity to recognize the great service and the great sacrifice of those that served after 9-11, before 9-11, for those of you that ever put on a uniform or that helped those in the service of this nation, thank you very, very much.